Jason, enlighten me. Yeah. All right. What if I could tell you that I could save you three hundred dollars? Would you guys take the money? Yeah. All right. So when you're preparing for college, money is tight, and if you're going to college, more than likely you're going to buy a new computer. So I'm going to convince you why you should buy a Windows PC <laughs> Look at me. over a Mac. Based on the majority of the price, everybody knows that PCs are cheaper than Macs, but the start <laughs> across the varieties and what you actually need. Um, the starting cost. The lowest cost of a new Mac is $900, and that's the 11-inch MacBook Air, and that comes with an Intel i5. If you don't know what an Intel i5 is, it's a type of processor. The processor is basically the brain of your computer, it manages the tasks and everything. It comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, it's memory for the work you're doing basically. And I didn't mention, but the gigahertz, the 1.7, is basically the speed of your computer. And 60 gigabytes of flash storage is actually the hard drive, that's the newer hard drives that are out. Um, and on the other side, you got a Windows PC, 15 inch Asus laptop that comes with basically the same exact specs, except it's a little bit faster on the processor. Um, yes, the MacBook Air has maybe a faster hard drive, but if you see that has a faster processor, a little bit bigger screen. If you can see at the bottom of the page that the price is listed, you're getting about the same exact thing for $500 more. You're getting a lot more storage though. 500 gig versus 64. That Mac seriously only comes with 64? 64. Well, I guess I can talk about that now. Uh, hard drives. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to tell you from my point of view, hard drives really don't matter. These newer hard drives, they cost so much. But if you remember two, three years ago, the normal hard drives costed so much. Like, you could buy a terabyte for $160. Now in the past week where there's Cyber Monday day it deals, you can buy them for $60. So eventually, over time, those will go down in price. I wouldn't get one right now, because obviously they'll go down in price. So your variety of PCs when you're choosing, or your variety of laptops, those are your choices when you want to make a decision on what kind of Apple PC you want. You can get the MacBook Air, which I just showed, and it starts off at $999. MacBook Pro, that starts off at $1,200. Or the MacBook Pro with Retina display starts off at 1700 Now, I really shouldn't even need to like, state why you should need, don't need a retina display, because honestly, first of all, Google even got a better retina display than Apple does. And second of all, how many brazen hands do you actually watch movies from your laptop? <laughs> why wouldn't you just take an HDMI and hook it up into your TV so you can watch on like 42 to 60 inch TVs? Tough to do in a car. <laughs> so, what do you have for PC variety? Well, if you just go up to Best Buy and you just type in on PC laptops, you get 115 out of 907 laptops. Now, compared to if you go onto their site for Mac laptops, you got 12 choices. So, quality really, over quantity. <laughs> really, you got to find what's right for you, and if there's 907 options, it might be easier to find something for you than rather than picking out 12. <laughs> so most people, when they're buying a computer, they really don't know what they need. Like, they don't know what processor they need, they don't know how many gigs of RAM, they don't know what a hard drive. A lot of people are uninformed, so their choices are persuaded by other people of what they actually need. Everybody's unique, and honestly, I believe everybody is entitled to basically their own computer. There isn't an all-in-one computer for everybody. So I would like to pull up this link, and it's by Microsoft, and 
could help you in your decision on what you need for a computer. So we wanted to answer this in class. How portable do you need your PC to be? Well, the second one. The middle one. I sometimes take it with me. Okay. How powerful do you need your PC or tablet to be? B. Plenty of power. C. Never, C. 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 Never C. under power. C. 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 Never C. under power. C. 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 Yeah. C. 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 Right. yeah. You had movies and photos on your PC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. B. B. C. C. B. C. B. C. C. B. C. B. C. B. C. B. Do you play games on your yeah. TV? No! No, no, no. 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 All the time. B. A. B. A. B. A. B. B. Oh, come on. Everybody plays once in a blue moon. No! No. You can't play any of this. Do you use your PC for work? No! Yeah, sure you have it. All the time. All the time. What's your budget for a new PC? Hey, I'm not sure. Hey. <laughs> so then you can view your recommendations, and they recommend an NB Touch Smart Ultrabook, I, I guess. To screen this to the keyboard. Uh, and as you can see, the price they have listed for it is 850 bucks, and that's a lot cheaper than if you think an 11-inch MacBook Air that starts at 900 dollars or nine. $50, whatever. And if you want, you can do this for yourself. Maybe you didn't get the results you wanted, but that's a step in the right direction. You don't have to buy that, but you can say, okay, that's maybe something that I can get something around. Because you can find stuff just like that for an even cheaper cost, which I found something the other day that really is a pretty good computer. And it runs an i5 with 8 gigs of memory, 750 hard drive, for $700. And personally, I have had experience with a model very similar with this one. And honestly, it's probably the best laptop I've ever had my hands on. Like, that's $700. If you want to, you can get extra power. You can get the same model and an i7 for $800. That's really good comparing if you want to get an i5 for a thousand dollars and also this is one of the things I want to mention about this computer I don't know if you guys have ever seen a computer with a fingerprint reader those are so much better than just having to log into everything I love that feature on that computer have you seen the new picture coding new picture coding. you have a picture that comes up as your screen oh and you've like drawn things on it that's what lets you in? Yeah, on the Windows 8, that's how yeah. Windows 8 that I have. Yeah, that's on Windows 8. <laughs> uh, a possible Mac point of view is Macs don't get viruses. That's actually a myth. Um, as I have stated there, Macs can have viruses but may not get infected, which means you're still carrying the virus. It's like almost being sick. And what people don't know is if you're a Mac, you can still be transferring that virus to other computers, which might get you in trouble if you get it to the wrong person. And honestly, if Macs don't have viruses, if you're a PC user, just be responsible. You're never going to get a virus on a computer. You know, don't go to Mega Upload and click the wrong link like the download now. I'm sure people have seen that. Don't get on the porn. Don't be doing what you're not supposed to be doing. Be responsible with your computer. So uh, I hope that in this speech you have gotten a good idea of what maybe you need for a computer and that you don't need to spend an outrageous amount to get a good computer.